Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Megan. Thanks so much for watching. I like to make mom videos, vegan lifestyle videos, and obviously I am having you guys follow along on my weight loss journey as well. So if any of those things interest you, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell so you don't miss any updates. And also go follow me over on my Instagram. So today's video, I'm going to share with you guys the game changer that has helped me lose 25 pounds on a whole food plant-based vegan diet. I do follow the starch solution most of the time, but occasionally I do have to like eat out and stuff. And so I have some oil here and there, which is not on the starch solution. Um, so obviously I'm a busy mom and occasionally like I just can't cook. I just don't have the energy for it, especially with my vestibular migraines and a two year old running around like a little heathen. I just can't. Thus the mom bun today, y'all. I just, it's, it's been a weekend already and it's only Saturday. So anyways, today I'm gonna share with you the calorie density chart. And really like this was the game changer for me, really like figuring this out and fully understanding what it means, how to use it to my benefit and how to use it in such a way that it's not restricting me to the point where I feel like I have to binge on foods that are on the red side of the chart because I'm not eating enough of the foods on the green side of the chart, if that makes sense. Because that was kind of my like old way of eating. And if you don't know my whole story, I will link those videos of my whole weight loss journey thus far in the cards. But pretty much I got on a vegan diet because my two year old is allergic to all animal products. And when she was diagnosed, we were still nursing and uh, so I had to change my diet for her and who knew that it would benefit me so much. It completely uh, took a lot of inflammation out of my body. It changed my food allergies and pretty much took them all away, which is like huge for me. I've always been allergic to like everything in the entire world. Got even worse after I had my daughter because I had a C-section. Um, so anyways after having her i just simply like could not lose weight i tried over and over and over again and it was just like a yo-yo diet situation which is kind of what has happened to me in the past so i'm finally at a point where i have a healthy view of food I have a healthy understanding of calorie density, which is like such a game changer. And it's why I'm sharing it with you today because if you understand calorie density, you can eat in a healthy way 99.9% .9 of the time. You can have a treat here or there and you can still reach your weight loss goals. I mean, if you get to a plateau, you might have to tighten up a little bit and maybe not have as many treats but or as many nut butters or as many like plant-based cheeses that are made out of like cashews or whatever but you don't have to starve yourself is like really what was the biggest game changer for me in this whole diet and this whole lifestyle because it's not really a diet i'm gonna eat like this forever so anyways, let me go ahead and pop up on the screen the calorie density chart. Um, this is just one that I found on Pinterest and it's really easy to read. And I mean, it does have like cheese listed on here, but pretty much everything else. I mean, I guess you could just assume that that is like plant-based cheese. Um, although I guess plant-based cheese, depending on what it's made of, would fit more under like nuts and butters because a lot of times plant-based cheese is made out of like cashews i guess it just depends starting at the top of the chart in the green section so the green line and above like from 100 to 600 calories 
that is like primarily what your diet should consist of and if you're following the starch solution really your diet is going to consist of that anyways because the main part of your meal is going to be a starch so like potato corn rice pasta beans and then you're gonna have a vegetable and then maybe even a fruit so pretty simple pretty easy basic as long as you're keeping your meals super simple super basic it doesn't get too overwhelming if you think of it like that so last week i posted a what i eat in a day video and i keep it super simple so i will link that up in the cards for you guys if you haven't seen that that's usually what i eat during the work week because it's just really easy for me um but yeah if you just keep it simple so all whole foods potatoes corn beans legumes easy avocado is a healthy food but it is a little more calorically dense so dr mcdougall recommends if you're in a weight loss phase to like not eat that at all um, i think you can have it like in moderation as long as you are still losing weight um same thing with like tahini i know some people put that in like salad dressings and things i have some i haven't tried it yet um and that is in like the 2800 calorie per pound way at the bottom of this calorie density chart but realistically you would not be eating an entire pound of that tahini so that would just be like a really small portion of that so you would be having that probably in moderation anyways um really if you look at this the rest of it is all like treat kind of stuff or like snacky kind of things and if you are eating enough food at each meal if you're eating enough fruits and veggies and whole food starches you really shouldn't be reaching for like the crackers and popcorn and like snacking on nuts and seeds so it's not like you can't ever have those things at 750 and up but really those should be the things that you limit so occasionally i will in a, enjoy a mug cake from plantifully hiki i will uh, link that recipe down in the description box because it is so good i use enjoy life chocolate chips because they are top eight allergen free and they are vegan and gluten free as well um, that is just what i have to have on hand for my daughter with her food allergies um, and then obviously at the very bottom of this is oils so 4,000 calories per pound of oil like just looking at that number is so crazy because I used to think that oh like I have to cook in olive oil and that it's healthy to cook in olive oil and then that is just simply not the case it just it quickly adds so many extra calories to your food so if you just simply take out cooking with oil you automatically drop your calorie density of your food by so much because no one ever measures their olive oil ever like you just throw some in a pan and like hope for the best like you don't measure it unless you are baking with it and then you do measure it but otherwise like you don't measure that <laughs> so anyways and they have chocolate listed here at 2500 calories per pound i think this depends on like what kind of chocolate because i don't think that the chocolate chips that i get are that calorically dense because they are semi-sweet and they don't contain any milk or anything so again this is just kind of like a basic guideline so as long as you loosely follow this and a majority of the time you are eating in the top of this chart and occasionally if you want to have a treat like 
when this video goes live it's going to be father's day and i am making him a gluten-free vegan cake for father's day i'm going to enjoy a slice of cake so obviously that is going to be on the bottom half of this chart probably somewhere near the 4,000 calorie region maybe between the 2,800 and 4,000 4, because it's going to have some coconut oil based frosting and lots of vegan butter and stuff on the inside so obviously not healthy none of the less delicious and vegan but obviously like it's a special occasion it's a treat it's not going to throw me off of my goals and that's really like the important thing i also just want to say that as long as you are averaging in a deficit that is the key thing to a weight loss regardless of what kind of diet you are following whether you are following a vegan diet or not which I have seen some people recently on my own personal social media who are following the keto diet. I've had some comments on some of my other videos about wanting to follow a keto diet. As long as you're in a deficit, you're gonna lose weight. Um, so that's why with this calorie density chart, if you do occasionally eat below the red line, but a majority of time you're eating above the green line that is why you're still gonna lose weight and you're not gonna be thrown off your goals that is why this chart knowing and understanding it is going to be the key to your weight loss success so if you have any questions make sure you leave them down in the comments below i would love to answer them for you guys but i think that's going to be it for this video make sure again you give this video a big thumbs up that really helps out my channel subscribe to my channel as well and i will see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.